left and struck out to open the top half of the ninth. And then Cochran singles. Charlie Geringer is up. He hits to Cabretta who bobbles the ball. Charlie is out. You think they'll have baseball in heaven? Two men are gone. Up comes Goose Gun. I don't know. The one who gets there first should let the other one know. The next pitch. Somehow. It's a base hit. <laughs> Of the fifth, one runner on. 0 and 1. Pitcher winds up, burns it down the middle, strike. All right, batter looks nervous. Pitcher winds up, and he's stealing second. Catcher burns it to second, and he's safe. Continue for the championship. Among those present were Ford Frick, the president of the National League, with ex president John Hyland. There's champion Jimmy Braddock and Detroit's Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. That's the late Frank Navin talking to Marvin Owen. The Cubs hopped on schoolboy in the third inning when the rejuvenated Charlie Klein comes through with a tremendous clout into the right field reaches, scoring Herman, who had tripled ahead of him. In the seventh, Jurgis got a hit, advanced on a sacrifice, and attempted to score on an error. But Nicky Cochran is at the plate blocking it. What's it like up there? Nothing. What about baseball? When it comes to baseball, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is we do play baseball up in heaven. We have some fine teams. I play second base on my team just like I did back in the old days. That's the good news. And what's the bad news? The bad news is you're scheduled to pitch tomorrow. Boys, he knew 